Alma and Wilbur. By David McKee and Anderson Press. Alma the patchwork elephant was waiting for his cousin, Wilbur, who was coming to visit. He's late, said Elma. Perhaps he's lost. Let's go look for him. What does Wilbur look like? asked an elephant. Wait and see, <laughs> chuckled Elma. But be careful. Wilbur likes to play tricks, tricks, especially with his voice. He's a ventriloquist. You can make his voice sound as if it's coming from a different place to where he is, from anywhere. This is fun, said an elephant as they started to search. It's like hide and seek. Suddenly they heard, Yo-ho, Elma, I'm over here. They rushed over to where the voice came from. Looking for me? said a rather surprised tiger. Sorry, said Elma. We thought you were my cousin. Very funny, Elma, said the tiger. Perhaps that's your cousin I can hear shouting. cried the voice. Help! I've fallen in the pond! He has! He has! I can see him! said an elephant. Silly, said Elma. That's your own reflection. Keep looking. He's near, but not where his voice is. They kept looking, and all the time they looked. The voice came from different places. It called, Cooey! Here I am! or Boo! to make them jump. Even came from a down a rabbit hole. The rabbits popped out saying, that's not funny. That's not funny at all. That's very silly. After a lot of searching, an elephant said, we'll never find him, Elma. Let's give in. Wilbur, called Elma. We give in. You can come out now. I can't. I'm stuck up a tree. Wilbur's voice said from above them. The elephants giggled. He is very clever, said one. If you don't come, said Elma, we'll have to go home without you. I'm really stuck up a tree, said Wilbur's voice. The elephants giggled again. <laughs> Elma, said an elephant, is Wilbur black and white? Yes. Why, said Elma. I peeped, said the elephant. He really is stuck up a tree. <laughs> they all looked. There was Wilbur up a tree. Wilbur, how did you get up there? Never mind how I got up. How do I get down, said Wilbur. I have no idea, said Elma. But we're hungry, so we're going home for tea. At least we know where you are now. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you tomorrow. With that, Elma started to lead the other elephants away. Oh, um, Elma, called Wilbur. Don't leave me. I'm starving. Ha ha, I was just teasing, laughed El Elma, <laughs> turning back to Wilbur. If you walk along the branch, it'll bend down and... With your weight, we can help pull you down. Wilbur walked slowly along the branch. The branch began to bend down, and the elephants could reach. They pulled the branch and the rest of the way and helped Wilbur off. <laughs> Thanks, said Wilbur. Now, where's that tea you were talking about? Then laughing and joking together, they raced all the way home. Yippee! That night, as they lay down to sleep, Elma said, Good night, Wilbur. Good night, Moon. A voice that seemed to come from the moon said, Good night, elephants. Sweet dreams. Elma smiled and whispered, Wilbur, how did you get up that tree? But Wilbur was already asleep. Thank you.